Welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing well out there whenever you're watching this video. Today we've got some new baseball cards to open on my channel. I haven't opened either one of these products on my channel yet this year. And uh, these are some products that I found at my area Walmart just the other day. Uh, they hadn't updated their card section uh, last weekend on Friday or over the weekend. Uh, but they did put them out just a couple days ago. So I was able to pick some up before everything got swiped up. And this is what I have. I have my 2021 Series 1 Tops 10 with Ronald Acuna Jr. on the front. And then a hanger box of Donner Space Ball. The first time I'll be opening Donner's on my channel. So before I rip into this really quickly, um, just wanted to throw a mention out there that I'm going to be running a giveaway here. Haven't had a giveaway on my channel since uh, the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And we are very, very close to 1,250 subscribers. I think I am 10 subscribers away. At least that's where I was last night when I checked. So when I get 10 more subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content and you have not subscribed yet because my subscriber giveaway, which hopefully will be coming up in about a week or so, whenever I get those 10 extra subscribers, that will be something that only public subscribers can win. So feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to be a part of that and if you enjoy the channel. And if not, that is okay too. You're not going to hurt my feelings if you choose not to do so. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let's go ahead and do the Donners first since I haven't opened that on my channel yet. This is the 2021 Donners hanger box. It's got six hollow orange exclusive cards and two diamond parallels on average. Notice Panini is always on average. This was, I believe, $11, $10.98 uh, plus tax. And so I picked one up. It has 50 cards per box. Uh, just to be completely real with everybody, Donner's baseball, anyway, is not always my uh, biggest uh, product that I purchase. I don't know. I, I like Donner's and I like some of the cool inserts and stuff they do, but just not having the team, you know, logos and the licensing just somewhat holds me back from buying it up as much as I do other products. So uh, there we have our little package of cards on the inside. We'll go ahead and rip into these. I'm sure you've had a chance to see Donner's quite a bit. I know some of my buddies on other channels that I've been subscribed to have been running uh, some breaks and um, team breaks and random team breaks and have been opening up quite a bit of it. So uh, let's go ahead and just go into this. I'll try to go fairly quickly. If you notice a variation or something that I don't mention, you can put that down in the comments below. We're starting out with Rafi Devers. Boston is on a roll. They're in first place now after getting, what, they started 0-3 after getting swept by the Orioles, and now they're in first place. They haven't lost since then. There's Brandon Lau and Cattell Marte on my one of my fantasy teams and Hurt, along with Fernando Tatis Jr., also Hurt. Uh, that's hurt me on one of my leagues. Uh, there is F Wilmer Flores for the Giants. Michael Conforto for the New York Mets. They're getting ready to take on the Phillies tonight. Corey Seager, the World Series reigning MVP. Mike Yastrzemski hit a home run last night, I believe, for the Giants. A Rosarena for Tampa Bay, doing his thing again this year. Colton Wong now with the Brewers. Ian Happ uh, won the job this year for the Whites, or excuse me, the Cubs, out in the outfield. Uh, there is Luke Voigt, who is currently injured, and now we're getting to some of these inserts, the old-school Donner's designs with an old-school player. There's Hall of Famer Larry Walker in his Colorado Rockies jersey, although you couldn't tell because there's no logo on it. Brad Keller has been struggling for my Royals, but he finally pitched a lot better today as they beat the Angels. Here is a Steve Garvey. That's an old throwback. Look at those cool wristbands. That's back in the day there. Steve Garvey. We've got an Anthony Santander, who's kind of hitting in the middle of the order for the Orioles. Underrated player. There's Fergie Jenkins, Hall of Famer. Canadian Fergie Jenkins, I believe. Anthony Rizzo for my boy David M. John Smoltz. I love what he does on MLB Network. Hall of Famer himself. Dallas Keuchel. Still hanging around with the White Sox. There's Mr. October. Reggie Jackson. <laughs> and... Uh, one of those old school pants. They don't make those elastic waistbands anymore, do they? <laughs> if y'all ever wore those elastic waistbands, oh man. Okay, we've got Miguel Cabrera, who currently is injured. Ricky Henderson, Hall of Famer. It's been, I saw a lot of people had his rookie card for the Lou Rock TV um, rookie lineup. I do not own that card, otherwise I would have included it. And now we're getting really close to these uh, shiny cards. So let me go ahead and save those for the end. We'll cycle them. Don't for, let me forget to bring Dylan Bundy back. There's Dalton Varsho, who is not with the... Um, Diamondbacks to start the season. That's my first rated rookie. He came up last year. There's Jordan Alvarez. The H-Town parallel, or whatever you want to call it. This is a, a, a parallel version there where it says H-Town instead of Houston. We've got a Diamond King of Cody Bellinger, who is 
also on one of my fantasy teams and injured. David Peterson is starting tonight against Zach Wheeler for the New York Mets. Had a pretty nice start to his career last year. It came up as a rookie in the shortened season. Frankie Lindor, obviously now with the Mets as well. Kyle Lewis with the Mariners, our reigning AL Rookie of the Year. There's a Christian Pache. That's a nice rated rookie. Uh, Pache, don't be don't be struggling or don't be hating on Pache because he's not you know on fire as a hitter. Everyone kind of knows, or at least the scouting reports, uh, everyone was kind of saying he's going to struggle to hit when he first comes up, but he's going to be a great defender and he's going to. Uh, be able to run and field and throw and steal bases. So give him some time and he'll be all right. Here's another one, Cabrian Hayes. There's a nice one, Cabrian Hayes, currently injured but was just absolutely smacking the living daylights out of the ball. So we're doing well on our rated rookies. There's Lance Berkman, the big Puma. Forgot all about him, <laughs> being that nickname. There's Christian Yelich, still injured as well. Ryan Mountcastle, holy cow, these rated rookies are on fire. We're hitting all the big boys. We've hit Cabrian Hayes. We've hit Ryan Mountcastle. We've hit Christian Pache. We just haven't seen Alec Baum. There's Tony Two Bags for uh, Los Angeles Angels. That's obviously Anthony Rendon. There's Matt Chapman, one of my favorite players in the major leagues. And then we have Luis Garcia for the Washington Nationals. Shout out to my buddy Kevin at Kevin's Budget Card Breaks. Uh, he is a Washington Nationals fan. So let's go ahead and go into the inserts. This is really what makes Donruss stand out with these shiny and really uh, kind of creative inserts. There's a Dwight Gooden for our throwback. Oh, we have a backwards one. Edward Olivares, he is on the Kansas City Royals. They picked him up in a trade with the Padres last year. Let's see what we have on the other side of Edward Olivares. We have, oh, an autograph. Nice. All right, so Edward Olivares is a uh, Kansas City Royal, and this is a nice autograph out of a hanger box of my hometown team, the Kansas City Royals. Numbered, you can see right there, 96 out of 99 right above the sticker auto. And so I am uh, pretty impressed to get that. He's even got his jersey number on there. So he's not actually with the Royals team right now. He came up last year, but that is awesome. I'm gonna set that right over here by Dwight Gooden and we will uh, get that sleeved up in a minute. Not the world's greatest or most expensive autograph, but still for my hometown team, that's pretty cool. All right, we've got Cal Ripken, the stars and stripes, or just the stars kind of around the outside there. And it's got kind of the uh, vintage stock feel to it. I don't know if you've ever had one of those cards before, but it's kind of got the old card stock. And now our orange parallels, hollow orange parallels. We have Brandon Lau for Tampa Bay. We have Cattell Marte. We saw this run of cards at the beginning. We've got Ozzie Smith, the wizard, there for the Cardinals. Jose Barrios for Minnesota. We're supposed to get six of these. Two more. Oh, Alec Baum. I was saying we haven't seen him yet, and we get the hollow orange of Baum. That might be a close second, my favorite card besides the autograph. And then the Gigante of um, Jose Altuve, who just went on the COVID list. And now our two diamond parallels, we've got Christian Robinson, the rated prospect. That's such a cool card. The shine on these is very, very neat. He is on the Diamondbacks. He is from Jamaica and uh, is an outfield prospect. Uh, Jamaica or the Bahamas? He's maybe the Bahamas. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the Bahamas, not Jamaica. Let me correct myself. Christian Robinson. And then one more, Dylan Carlson, the rookies. That's a nice one. Dylan Carlson is up with the uh, Cardinals right now. He was my pick to be the National League um, Rookie of the Year this year. I think he's going to get a lot of protection and a lot of chances to drive in guys like Arenado and Goldschmidt. So, man, these hanger boxes, this was a nice one. We hit an autograph. We hit the all of the rated rookies that I was really looking for. Look at this, guys. We got the uh, orange hollow of Alec Baum. We hit Garcia. We hit Mountcastle, Cabrian Hayes, Christian Pache, Peterson, and Varsho. So, we did super well on that. Very impressive for Donruss. Maybe I should be buying more of this. <laughs> I know the cards don't have as much value as tops or flagship, but man, I just like it. So, okay, you know what? I think I'm going to pause the video right here. You know what? I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open up the uh, tops series one box in another video. It's going to take me another 10 minutes to at least get through these, and I don't want to have a 20-minute video. So let me go ahead and get you guys out of here on this. Go ahead and leave your thoughts and comments below about the hanger box of 2020 Donners for $11. This one was amazing. So if you see these hanging around your Walmart, don't, uh, you know, don't just ignore them. They are better than maybe you would think. So go ahead and, uh, Leave a like and comment if you'd like, and if not, that is okay too. I'll get you out here on that and be watching for tomorrow's video where I will open up this 2021 Series 110 of Ronald Acuna Jr. of Top Series 1. All right, have a good one, everyone.